Greetings, new Cardinals and future Cardinals. My name is Allison Huntley, and I'm the Assistant Principal of Guidance and Counseling at Whittier High School. This is my 15th year in the district. Prior to my position, I was a teacher, and I am also a resident of the community. My daughter is a graduate of the district, and I am just a huge fan, and I love Whittier High. So I can't wait to share with you all of the things that make Whittier and our district overall amazing. I'll be taking you on a tour where you'll get to meet several administrators as well as find out some more information about our school. Of course, questions are gonna come up, so I recommend that you pause, jot them down, and please feel free to send me an email. If I'm not able to answer your question, I promise I will look into it and find someone who can. Thanks for coming along on our journey today. The front entrance to Whittier High School is actually located off of Whittier Avenue, though our address is off Philadelphia. You'll see the giant Whittier High School at the front and where it says main entrance. It's our beautiful Willie Gordon Library that I'll be walking through in just a moment. You'll also see next to it what's sometimes referred to as the horseshoe. There's also a loading zone where parents are able to um, pull off to the side in the morning to drop off their students. So each morning our students will make their way to this front entrance as soon as our students come in, they're asked to show their ID and are greeted by a friendly face of one or more of our campus security. You might even get an alumni like Coach Scott. Speaking of alumni, once you come into the library, you'll see a lot of pictures of many of our notable alumni. We are very proud of our history at Whittier High School. Some have entire showcases dedicated to them like Vic Lopez, whom our auditorium that I'll speak about is also named after, and others who are part of our Hall of Fame are all over at the top. You'll also see features from our US President, Richard Nixon, who attended Whittier High School, one of the only presidents to have attended a public high school. A feature of John Lasseter, who fun fact drew his first Woody at a Whittier High School art class. The library itself is beautiful with space for students to uh, get work done and after school tutoring is hosted here as well. You might even see some faces that the parents or students will recognize, including our mayor and television personalities. As you make your way out of the library, you will come into the C building if you go straight ahead. I'll mention a couple times in the tour some of the places that were featured in the Back to the Future movies, and this is one of them, though the color scheme is different, but this hallway. To my right is the attendance office. So students will go to attendance if they have an absence that they need to clear through either a doctor's note or a note from their parents, or in advance if they know they need to leave early that day because of a doctor's appointment um, or for some other reason that they're getting picked up, attendants will be able to help them out. It's really important that students attend in high school. There's a lot of data to support that the more students attend, the more successful they will be. And we want them here every day in order to get an amazing education um, as well as an overall great high school experience. Right across from the attendance office is our guidance office. We offer several services in our guidance office that hosts our counselors. Those services include mental health. So if students are dealing with a stressful situation or something more long-term like ongoing anxiety or depression, they have counselors they can talk to as well as linkages we can provide to our campus partner, the whole child, as well as our district student well-being program. This is also where counselors can help with scheduling. So whether it's planning ahead for a schedule for next semester or next year, or if there's a class that a student needs to change. Students will also meet with their counselors as well as in the New Horizons office that I'll show you shortly for help with college and career planning and planning out what not only the four years of high school are going to look like, but plans for after that. And we also have support for students with their grades. So if students are struggling with a particular class or subject, our counselors can help students with um, finding the tutoring program, Saturday school or after program that's right for them with getting that support. 
Our counselors also hold parent-teacher conferences. If you ever have questions about your schedule, any concerns related to social-emotional health, or if you as a parent want to talk to your student's counselor because you're concerned about how their performance is or just have any other questions, they are more than happy to assist you. During the COVID shutdown, we have online Mondays where uh, students have open time that they can meet with their counselors. And normally when all students are on campus on Wednesdays, students can come in during nutrition, lunch, before school or after school without an appointment, or they can come see the front desk for an appointment. This front office is where you would be making an appointment. Normally we'll have our two clerks right there able to assist you. And then down at the end of the hall is our Dean's office. Hi, I'm Mr. Garcia and welcome to the Dean's office. I work very closely with the rest of the guidance and counseling office to support our students. My focus is student and school safety and the reinforcement of positive behaviors. You'll get to know these pretty well. We call them Cardinals with Class which stand for citizenship, leadership, achievement, self-respect, and service to the community. In my role, I work closely with the rest of the guidance and counseling team, as well as school security, to keep the campus safe. We're also lucky to have the support of a Whittier Police Department student resource officer. We have a great tool that we use that can help keep our campus and students safe, which is the Whittier High School Text-to-Tip. I hope to get to know you better and help you to be a cardinal with class. Thank you. Outside of our guidance office, if we continue down the C hallway, the next office that you will approach is the business and activities office. In just a moment, you'll hear from our assistant principal of business and activities, Mrs. Diana salazar Valles. But just to know in general a few things about the business and activities office, this is a place where you can go to buy school gear, PE clothes, all students are given a complimentary ID card, but if they lose their ID card and they need to purchase another one, they would do so in here. And also the Business and Activities Office is where you can find out more information about getting involved. Hi Cardinals, I'm Ms. Salazar Valles and I would like to welcome you to the Business and Activities Office. Our office oversees student activities, student leadership, and athletics. We have over 50 clubs and activities for you to be involved in, from chess club, class council, stage crew, gardening club, and even a video game club. There is something for everyone. You can even create a new club if you'd like. We have a variety of boys and girls athletic teams that compete in the Del Rio League. Our office is where you would submit your athletic clearance so you can play soccer and football on Albertson Field, basketball in the Perry Gym, baseball on the Jack Mealy Field, or swim in the Holloway Poucher Pool. Our athletic teams have a history of excellence at Whittier High School, and we would love for you to be part of it. If sports is not your thing, we have amazing opportunities and activities like dance and theater. You might be the star of our next production held in the Vic Lopez Auditorium. The Whittier High School ASB works really hard to plan amazing events for our students. You would buy your dance tickets in our office. We have an annual homecoming dance, Sadie Hawkins dance, and a prom. We had an amazing DJ at homecoming, a petting zoo and a game truck at Sadie's, and two years ago we had a horse and carriage ride available at prom. In order to help students be more involved at Whittier, we offer the opportunity to purchase an ASB card. For $50, you are able to get free entrance into home football and basketball games, and you get discounts on dance tickets and your yearbook. It's a great way to get involved and save some cash. In addition, you can buy all of your Whittier gear in our office and on our website. Can't wait to meet you all and can't wait to see you all soon, Cardinals. Right next to the Business and Activities Office, still in the C building, between some of our showcases where we will highlight a class or some different events that are going on on campus, is our Principal's Office. Our Principal, Mr. Timothy Liggett, is awesome and has some words for you about his role on campus. How's it going, everyone? My name is Tim Liggett and I am the proud principal here at Whittier High School. Just so you know a little bit about me, I started in education as a teacher back in 1997. I came here to Whittier High in 2005, and I have been the principal here since 2016. Now, I've got to tell you, Whittier High School is a very special place for me. To be perfectly honest, I came here in 2005 just looking for a job, but instead, I found a home. And so I am dedicated to making sure that Whittier High School feels like home for every single student. 
And to that end, I support an incredible faculty of teachers and counselors and an amazing team of outstanding support staff members who are all committed to the success of our students. And we are very proud of our students' successes, whether it be in the classroom or on the stage or on the courts or the field or in the pool or in the greater Whittier community. For 120 years, Whittier Cardinals have gone out into the world and done great things. And we are very excited to see what the future holds for our current student body as they look to continue that legacy of excellence. Lastly, like Mrs. Huntley said, please don't stress out if you're asked to come to the principal's office. If I wanna see you, then the chances are excellent that I'll actually be delivering some good news and not bad news. Recognizing students for their accomplishments is one of the absolute best parts of my job. And it is something that I look forward to doing every single day. So enjoy the rest of your virtual tour. And I look forward to serving you as part of our Cardinal family. Take care. Next to Mr. Liggett's office is the curriculum office with our assistant principal, Ms. Jennifer Medina who oversees things like textbooks, testing, um, instruction, as is implied, and also makes awesome things like her positive board that you can see in front of you. Hi everyone, welcome to Whittier High School. And as Ms. Huntley said, my name is Ms. Jennifer Medina, and I'm the Assistant Principal of Curriculum and Instruction here at Whittier High School. One of the first and most important areas that we support are the intervention classes. So the first class I'm gonna talk about is our guided study class. And this is a great opportunity for students who are moving from middle school to high school and to help with that transition. It's a big change for students. So in that class, our teachers provide uh, study skills as well as academic support with our award-winning academic mentors, which really gives a small school setting for our students and they're provided support in all of their classes, as well as additional lessons and units on how to be a good student. The other class that we offer is foundational skills. And for this is for our students whose first language was not English. And this provides additional language support through all of the classes, as well as providing academic mentors uh, to be able to support students in those various classes that they have in their freshman year. Whittier High offers a variety of honors and AP courses for students who are looking for a little more rigor through their day. So freshman year, students have the opportunity to take bio honors, algebra honors, Spanish one honors, all depending on what fits our students' needs. Freshmen also have the opportunity to begin their college academic career by taking AP classes. Now, AP classes are college level classes taught here at Whittier High School by our Whittier High teachers. So freshmen have the opportunity to take AP Human Geography or AP Computer Science Principles. So students who are looking to get a, a little ahead and to make sure that they are taking the most rigorous coursework can begin with those classes. We also support what I like to call the three T's, teachers, textbooks, and testing. So for teachers, we provide all the necessary needs for a classroom, notebooks, textbooks, et cetera. We also are the ones who check out textbooks to students throughout the year and then testing. Whittier High offers PSAT testing for students ninth through 11th grade. And in collaboration with the Horizons office, we offer SAT testing for 12th graders in October and in March for 11th graders. We also are in charge of our CASP testing, as well as supporting our students through the AP tests in May. If you have any questions about any of these topics, please feel free to contact our curriculum office. We are so glad that you have chosen Whittier High. Across from the curriculum office, you'll see a poster for our Puente program. A question that I often get on these tours is what's the difference between Puente and Avid? So Puente and Avid are both programs designed for students who want to go directly to a four-year university after college. Puente has a, the information is embedded within the English class, so it's not a separate class. 
um, and students will get college information during that class and they'll normally have at least one field trip or event per grade level. AVID is its own separate class that students take for all four years. In that AVID class, there are college tutors who are hired and they're there to support students and get um, help with study habits, um, tutoring help, organizational assistance during class. Uh, how I've also described it is I do have a daughter who was in the Puente program. She was that kind of go-getter student, typically always got A's in middle school, already really organized. So it was a good fit for her because she didn't necessarily need the additional support. Whereas when my son comes to Whittier High School, I will most likely have him in the AVID program. He's also a really good kid and wants to go to a four year, but I would say he's probably more of your B or C student who could use a little bit of support with getting a little more organized. And I also like the idea of having a college tutor in class who can help him when he gets stuck on work. The last office that's in the C building is our New Horizons office. So the New Horizons office, along with the guidance counselors, make up the college and career team. In just a moment, you'll be hearing from the director of New Horizons, Ms. Lou Munoz. Hello, I'm Ms. Munoz, the director of New Horizons. The New Horizons office is the hub of everything college and career related. From our collaboration with our community partners, CalSOAP, ROP, and Rio Hondo College, as well as our amazing guidance counselors, students have access to resources and tools to prepare them in making well thought out decisions for their plans after high school. Programs through ROP will have students earning career certificates in just a couple of semesters, and that will prepare them for the workforce. Our dual enrollment courses give our students the opportunity to graduate high school with a year of college credit without ever leaving our campus. Students can find scholarship information here as well as our guest speakers who come from time to time offering college and university information as well as other professionals who share what work life is like in industries of various sorts. In the 11th and, grade, 11th and 12th grade year, the Horizons office offers an opportunity for students to take the SAT for free by meeting the minimum requirements of A through G. They are welcome to meet with our college advisor to make sure that they're meeting those college requirements to be able to take the exam. And if they are not, we will make sure that they are on track to meet those requirements to be able to pursue their post-secondary options and take the SAT. Come senior year, students will also receive college and financial aid application support from our amazing college and career team, where we offer weekend workshops for students and parents to attend. In this office, we also are the location for our English learner support. Students who are classified as English learners have access to meeting with our New Horizons team who ensures students are getting the support they need to succeed in their classes. The New Horizons office is here for all students for their everyday needs. When we are open on a normal base and students are able to attend campus, we have Chromebooks and free printing for students on campus. There are also field trip opportunities throughout the year that students can take part of. We are so happy to offer these services for our students and can't wait to see you in here soon. We are still available for you. Regardless of the building being closed right now, we are open virtually. Please make sure to visit our New Horizons webpage for any information and feel free to contact us. Thank you so much and have a great day. At the end of our C building outside our Horizons office, we show student pictures of our graduating classes from the different years, including their plans for uh, where they plan to attend after high school. And we feature them on both sides of our wall as we are incredibly proud of our Cardinals. And like we say, once a Cardinal, always a Cardinal. As we exit the C building, students can go either straight ahead to the H building, right to our horseshoe area where I'll end the tour, or we can turn out left where I'll go next, which is our fountain. So this is another part of our beautiful Whittier High School history. One of the things I like about Whittier High is it just has that classic feel of what you expect a high school to look like. And there are a lot of individual details that come with having a campus 
that is over 120 years old. So we have little plaques within our fountain from different class of years past that is showcasing their time. And then as I mentioned, next to that is the age building, where is where a lot of our students will take their history classes. So you can think H for history, as well as we have some of our English classes in there also. I'd like to take a moment to talk about some of the support that students will get in their different classes. A program that Whittier High School started and is now present at some other high schools, but is definitely most prominent Whittier High School is the Academic Mentor Program. <clears throat> the Academic Mentor Program is a program where our juniors and seniors who are strong in a subject or multiple subjects support classes that typically have freshmen in them. So let's use Algebra 1 as an example. In a typical high school classroom, you might have 30 students and one teacher trying to learn Algebra 1, which math, as we know, can be a little complicated for many people. So at any given time after the teacher's lesson, when students are working on practice problems, you might have 30 students who need additional help, or maybe more realistically, you have 10. That can still be a lot for one teacher. <coughs> Academic mentors mean that you will have approximately four different juniors and seniors who are really strong in math taking classes such as calculus. They've learned the lesson that students are gonna be going over ahead of time, and they're already prepared to help the students. We also hear from our students that they like working with mentors. Since they're close in age, they really like the way that the mentors explain their work. And the academic mentors have received, have made it so that Whittier High School has received several awards and it's a great leadership opportunity for our students. So the fountain is in the middle of what we call the quad. And if we're facing the fountain from where we first saw it and turn left, we can go straight ahead. We'll see the E building on our right, which is where we'll have our gym, PE classes, as well as a few other classrooms, including our band room. And in front of us will be the B building, which has our science classes and labs. But where I'd like to talk about next is going towards the front lawn where most of our students hang out. As you'll see, it's a large area where students can spend time together. So as I mentioned in the beginning, students come to Whittier High School. Um, there, our front entrance is on Whittier Avenue, but if you were to plug in the address into a GPS, it would take you to about this spot where you would see this giant tree off of Philadelphia. So this tree is one of many areas where students spend time along with their other friends. And so on this side of the lawn is where a lot of our different students hang out. Behind it is the MN building as well as the cafeteria. This is another area where students hang out and there will often be a cart that is right next to it, as well as another part of the lawn. As I told you, one thing that people will sometimes ask on tours is a lot of our history as it relates to Back to the Future, because that's one of the things our school is really known for. So this front area, which is the old front entrance, is one of the first scenes we see where Marty McFly is racing up the steps. As I mentioned in the beginning, this is the side of our library. And our library is a place where students can work with other students and get support. And we have a couple programs after school that I'd like to highlight. The first is our prep tutoring. So students can go to the library and they can get academic support after school. They can also get a free snack through our supper program. It's actually kind of like a second lunch. It's a pretty sizable um, meal and drink and then they if they need to go to an athletics practice they can or they can stick around for a lot of students i recommend going to prep just to get their homework done even if they don't need any help from the college tutors in prep they have a place to use a computer with internet printing access all of that they can get their work done and then while they're working on something if they do need help with a particular problem there are people who are there to support them prep also has some different clubs Speaking of different programs and clubs, another after-school program that I wanted to highlight that you'll sometimes see 
over on this side of the lawn after school is our spirit awakening program so whittier high is the only comprehensive high school in the district that partners with spirit awakening and they're a program through the la commission of arts where they have um basically teachers after school more like mentors who work with students and students can attend one or all of their after school offerings which include art as in visual art creative writing and also a mentorship leadership class they provide students with free meals field trips and when students get competitive in the different areas like visual arts with photography or other things they can enter into some um, competitions where they can win stipends scholarships aka money and it's open to students freshman through senior year we also partner with spirit awakening in our summer school class that a lot of our students take we call it we call it cardinal camp um, it's also in the uh, it's a class where students who are coming into high school from eighth grade into ninth grade can learn more about the school and be prepared for that first day it gives them some credits and some exposure so i always recommend that class if you are thinking about having your student attend summer school and it is only a three-week class versus a six-week long class so along this front lawn we will see walking towards our cafeteria while we're at the cafeteria this is a place also where students will hang out uh, we serve uh, during a typical school year we have a breakfast before school we also have a nutrition when students can uh, purchase food or if they're on the free or reduced lunch program uh, get food for either free or reduced cost and we also have lunch and as I mentioned we do have the supper program after school Monday through Thursday so while we are outside the cafeteria I wanted to mention um, some of the classes that you can see next to it so we have a foods class where we have both foods one foods two and food nutrition which is a science class um, it's actually a good class to take after chemistry because it's the kind of chemistry or science behind food and also our math department chairs classroom is next to that to the right you will see our b building as i mentioned this is where a lot of our science and science labs are including the science classes for our stem academy so we have a lot of different academies and programs at whittier high school earlier i talked about the puente program and the avid program we also have stem cca and a vapa program so stem and cca are both programs that students are going to start their sophomore year and we have a pre-cca slash stem program that starts their freshman year where students can either take an engineering class or an exploring computer science class and then we have some science classes which are paired for those as well so if you have a student who is interested in a career in the future that involves technology or engineering we definitely have some top-notch programs for them uh, towards the end of our tour I will show you our stem classroom something that's great though for all of our classes regardless of whether students are in Academy or program or not is that we have some built-in support time so at the end of each class period we have something called embedded support which is 20 minutes of time where students can either um, release some of their students none of their students all of their students it's a teacher's discretion but there are certain guidelines that each uh, course team will normally come up with for keeping students in so for example before i was an administrator i used to be a teacher and i would teach english so the english department we had all decided that if our students had c's or higher and had no missing assignments that they could go out early which was a great incentive for students so they could be released for embedded support so instead of a 20 minute or i'm sorry a 30 minute lunch for example they have those extra 20 minutes of embedded support so they get a 50 minute lunch so that was a big incentive to them to have all of their work done we also said they had to be in class on time and be well behaved but um, even if we did say a student was eligible to leave for embedded support we always gave them the option where they could stay in if they wanted to ask a question kind of like office hours in college or if they just wanted a place to do their work we would keep students in if they had quizzes to make up tests to make up if they were tardy 
or if their grade uh, wasn't where we knew that it was capable of. So our students who had a D or an F in a course, and that's a great time where teachers can work individually um, or with small groups of students to prepare them for a retest, um, to have them take a quiz they missed, to have them do work that they might have missed, or just to help them with mastering a concept that's been really difficult for them. Since instituting embedded support, our test scores, our students' grades have all improved tremendously, and we know it's a powerful incentive for our students to complete work and be on task, and it's also great for our students whenever they do need that extra support. So across the front lawn, you will see the south side of campus, um, and I'll show you where our students cross most of the time. Um, we are on a block schedule, so Tuesday through Friday, students only have three of their classes, which gives them ample time, especially because they have uh, nutrition and lunch between those classes in order to get from one class to another. I know sometimes there's a concern about if a student has a class on the south side and then all the way on the other side of campus if they'll be able to make it on time. We do take that into account with the calculation of the passing time between periods. Um, so on a Monday when we have all our classes, we do have security assisting with crossing our students. We have five full-time security as well as a part-time security. Um, but the other four days of the week, students will pass through this tunnel that has some beautiful murals. Um, I will meet you on the other side of the tunnel to talk a little bit about what we have on the south side. So over on the south side of campus, the first building that we will see is the P building, which hosts many of our math classes. We offer um, both regular and honors levels of Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. After that, we have regular and honors math analysis, and then students can go all the way for, to Calculus AB and then Calculus BC. We have a very strong math program on our campus. Past the P building is the S building, where we have our dance, our theater arts, and our automotive classes. So for freshmen, all freshmen by law are required to take a PE class. They can take either a regular PE class, they can meet that through um, being in a sport that they have completed athletics clearance and gotten on the team for, so they can take an athletics class or they can take a dance class. Uh, so some of our students choose to meet either their PE requirement um, or they can also take a visual arts dance class or theater class. As I mentioned earlier, one of our programs is our VAPA program. So students who complete four years of VAPA, which they can do alongside some of the other programs I mentioned, the Puente, AVID, STEM, and CCA, will get a VAPA medal at graduation uh, depending on the grades that they get in those classes. Our visual and performing arts classes include choir, theater, dance, guitar. We have uh, 3D design, art one, art two, art three, AP studio art, and we have a beginning band class. And then we also have our um, band for students who've already taken band, which is actually two classes, both a cadet and a marching band class. So we have a lot of different opportunities in the visual and performing arts department. As I mentioned, auto is next to there where students start off learning about cars and then are actually able to work on cars because we really believe in learning by doing and giving our students those opportunities. Also on this side is where you will find the CCA and STEM classes that I mentioned you formally join those programs your sophomore year. And we have our world language classes over on this side. So uh, we offer both Spanish and French 
We have Spanish classes starting for students who come into high school already being fluent in Spanish. So we have a Spanish One Honors class for our native speakers. Um, but whether students are fluent or not, they can get up to taking AP Spanish. Uh, we also offer um, our, as I said, French and students start with French one and then can um, take up to four years of French. This is our engineering class on the south side and during the school day, whether it's class time, nutrition, lunch, before school or after school, it is normally packed with students. So you'll see there are computers where students learn programs like AutoCAD and SketchUp. And then there are also spaces where students can work on building different projects with a variety of components. And then um, a lot of times students will create something on the computers that they can then bring to life by using our 3D printers. We also have um, some wood cutting station as well where students can make different projects. So as I was saying earlier, we really believe in learning by doing and the engineering class is just one example of where we make that happen. So ending full circle, we are back right next to our library, which is what we call the horseshoe area. In the distance, you can see the Vic Lopez Auditorium. For many of you who've been in the Whittier area since you were really young, you have fond memories of the Vic Lopez Auditorium where you performed in elementary school or middle school. I myself as a parent have fond memories of seeing my son um, in a talent show in the beautiful auditorium. But the auditorium is special for another reason to me. When I first came over to Whittier High School after teaching in another school, another school in the district, I loved coming to the auditorium because I saw that Whittier had the most amazing assemblies. And Whittier High, um, prior to being at Whittier High, the school I was at was really large, so we had to have split the school in half and have two different assemblies because we couldn't all be together. So I was amazed at not only the quality of the assembly, but I loved the togetherness of the whole school being able to experience that moment at the same time. And it really gave this sense of unity and community. And I wanna end with that being one of the things that I really love about Whittier High School is our students really are Cardinals of class. We're not a really tiny school, well, we're not a very large school. To me, we're that perfect size. Our school is big enough to where, because we have as many students as we do and as many teachers as we do, we can offer a variety of programs like the ones I've mentioned to you today, but we're not so large that we can't all experience those amazing events together. As I said in the beginning, we are always here for your questions. Please feel free to reach out to me and I can't wait to meet all of you future Cardinals. Again, thank you for joining us today. And for the rest of our footage, you will see some aerial and drone shots if you'd like to see a little more of our campus. Mm -hmm.